Are you constantly backing up into things? But don't worry, it's a perfect video for you because I'm gonna show you how to install a backup camera on your truck or car. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. All right, so uh, this is the camera we're gonna be installing on the truck. I think I picked it up for like 45 bucks on Amazon Prime and uh, I'll link it below um, just in case if you're interested. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, open this thing up and uh, so here's the monitor and uh, all the wiring. It's not going to be too difficult of an install. Uh, there's two different ways you can install this thing. Um, one is with the cigarette lighter so that'll turn on when uh, the car is on and I guess it, it looks like it has a switch right here so you can also turn it off. That's pretty convenient but uh, I wanted to turn on with the back tail tail lights turn on or well, the reverse lights turn on I should say so we'll be we'll be doing it that way so that's what these wires here are for it looks like we're gonna have a ample amount of wires to go from the back of the truck to the front and uh, we'll test that out to prove it but uh, that's all the wiring there here's the, the camera itself it just bolts on to the license plate and this is the suction cup for the monitor. And they got looks like they got some uh, taps for uh, tapping into the reverse lights. So this is, we'll be using these, or I'll see if I have some more sturdier looking taps than these. But yeah, that's what those are for. So it's just a few components here: the monitor, the camera itself, some extension lines cigarette lighter adapter I don't think we'll be using this and the suction cup I prefer more sturdier mount than the suction cup but uh, it's okay this will allow us or give us the, the ability to move this thing around just in case if we need to all right let's get this thing installed okay so installing this thing shouldn't be that difficult probably get this done in under an hour the very first thing will be in mounting the camera so it has holes that's going to mount onto the nuts or the bolts of the license plate. And of course, if you're the duct tape mechanic and you're making a YouTube video, you obviously need to cover your license plate with uh, duct tape. All right, let's do this first. Basically, this is one of the extension wires that came with it and it's got two ends. This end that has just the four pin connector and this end that has the four pin connector and also a power jack right here. So this is the end we're going to be connecting to our camera and this is the end that will be connected to the monitor. So we'll be connect this to the camera and then this will be connected to the power coming from the tail light. So let's do that right now. Before I open up the tailgate or the tail light, I'm going to also connect up this connection. So this is for our power. So basically all we do is just plug this one into here. And then we'll be using it to tap off the, from the tail or the reverse light. This is the only Ford Ranger in the world with a tailgate a jar sensor. And if you want to see how I've made that, um, I'll link the video in my description of this video. Anyways, so I got the, the backlight open here and uh, now I just unhooked the reverse light. So I just have to figure out which one is a positive and which one is a negative. Because that is important when we're going to be hooking this up for the power. As you can see, one of these wires is a so maybe a brown and a yellow and a black and a yellow. Anyways, we're going to use my a multimeter. I'm just going to uh, stick the probes in here and uh, have somebody uh, put the car into reverse. Obviously not actually take the foot off the brakes, but just put it into reverse and that should tell me uh, which one of these wires is positive and negative. So I'll do that now 
and we'll come back and uh, hook this up. All right, so we fed the wire coming from the camera through into the cavity for the, the back lights. And it's got a lot of excess wire, so we'll just be cutting off the excess, then tapping off of um, these wires right here. So the red will go to the positive, and uh, the black will go to the negative. But looks like we have a lot of excess wire. We're cutting that off. Then at the end, after everything's all wired up, we're going to zip tie all the wires underneath the truck. All right, Bluff. Cut it from right here. Yeah. Good job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. I just use the provided connectors to tap into these lines. Um, just to be on the safe side, I will be just uh, wrapping them up in electrical tape just so they don't get undone. I've actually never used these type of connectors, so I'm not sure how good they are, but I'm just going to wrap them up with tape just uh, to, be pre to be, have an extra layer of protection. So uh, we've got the po the power hooked up now. Um, so the only thing we need to do is route this wire underneath the truck and into the cabin, and just hook it up to the monitor. And then after that, we'll just uh, zip tie all the wires down here underneath here, so they're nice and tidy. We'll do that next. All right. So the way I'm feeding the wire through is I'm just going along this rail here where the factory um, uh, connectors are where the, where the wire is for the remaining of the electrical and uh, just following that rail all the way underneath the truck all the way to the front of the cabin you kind of see that's the that's the wire for uh, my uh, camera and that's the wire for the, the lights yeah, so I'm just going to follow that through. Alright, so to get the wire into the cabinet on this uh, Ford Ranger, there's a little grommet right there. And uh, this is where I use, um, this is what I used for all my extra curricular wiring. Um, this is where I got the sensor wire coming in from and uh, I'll also be installing um, flood floodlights on this, um, or a light bar on this truck soon. But anyways, so I just got some uh, chicken wire, uh, pushed through that hole, and it's coming down right here, and I got it tied up to my wire. So all you gotta do is just pull that chicken wire, and it's gonna go through um, the hole and into the cabinet, the cabinet of my car. So here's the wire. With, it's got a, still got a couple of feet of excess wire, so we'll just zip tie out, zip tie, zip tie that off somewhere. But if you have a larger truck than the Ford Ranger, which you probably do, um, it just tells you that this kit will be okay for you. Now I'm going to be feeding this wire through maybe this panel right here, because I think I'm going to put the monitor right there. So that's all per personal preference, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so I just. Uh routed the wire into this uh, panel right here because I'm going to have my uh, cap uh, monitor set up right here um, something like that so I'm just gonna just uh, use some electrical tape to uh, tie up the excess wire and I'll shove that down there and uh, which is I don't even think I'm gonna need to drill any holes I'm just gonna put this panel right over that wire and uh, should be enough there so I'll yeah, obviously, you do need to make this connection right there. Just uh, push in right there, and uh, that should complete the wiring there. So I'll show you how it looks when it's all done. 
All right, so I've got the wiring complete. Uh, so it's pretty much coming up from that grommet there. It's going underneath here and uh, coming back out this panel right here. I didn't have to do any sort of uh, drilling because this is plastic and it gives away enough without uh, pinching anything or ripping anything. So I'm going to see if I like that placement or not, but uh, in terms of wiring and the, um, installing it, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to use a couple zip ties to tidy up the wiring underneath, but the way I routed it doesn't need too much tidying up. I've got this thing mounted and installed. Now is the moment of truth. I'm going to start the car or the truck and then I'll put it into reverse, which should turn on the camera if I put if I wired everything up correctly. So we'll go ahead and uh, put it into reverse and the camera comes on. So look at that. You can even see my brother pass by. That's nah, not scripted. Anyways, so that's how you install this camera I picked up from Amazon Prime for like 45 bucks. It's uh, pretty good, especially if you have a truck like mine, which has pretty much no power electronics. So I'll be using this thing a lot, I guess. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos.